28% of all household water is used by the toilet. Think of all the money you're wasting down the drain. I'm Graham, expert plumber with Urban Piping, and today I'm gonna show you how to change out your old toilet with a new low flow version. All right, let's get started on the tools we're gonna need to replace this toilet. We're gonna need a hacksaw, the trunk, a flange toilet rebuild kit, some toilet bolts, channel locks, mini crescent wrench, wax seal, and a drill. All right, let's get started on removing this toilet. First, we wanna make sure the water is turned off to the house, followed by turning off the valve to the toilet. Next, we wanna empty out all the water from the toilet using our trunk system developed by a plumber here in Calgary. All right, now that the tank is completely drained and the bowl, we're gonna to wanna to remove the toilet bolts. The bolts are covered by the cap. Take off the cap, use your mini channel locks or crescent wrench and undo the nut. Once you get that loosened, you can use your fingers to undo the rest. And after that's off on both sides, you'll wanna call a friend to help you carry the toilet out of the bathroom. Now we've got the toilet taken out of the room. We've got our bare flange right in the floor. I've installed our new toilet bolts. Now you take a quick inspection around the flange to make sure there's no cracks or breaks in them. If there was some cracks and breaks, this one's good. But if there was, we'd wanna install this flange rebuild kit. Pretty easy, it just slips over top and then you just screw it into the ground and that's where your drill comes in. But since ours is good, we won't be needing this today. Now we have to install our wax seal, which we just place right into the hole and just gently secure it into the ground. Next, we'll be mounting our toilet. All right, old toilet's out. New toilet's been pre-assembled outside of the bathroom. We like doing that because there's more space to build it. We also use the box that the toilet came in to protect the floor and the porcelain from getting damaged. Now, I'm gonna throw this back in, mount the toilet. All right, now that the toilet's dropped on the flange, we're gonna wanna put the toilet bolts on. So first, we put our washers, and then we take our bolts, and we'll screw those all the way down. All right, once this is nice and tight, and you have your washer lined up perfectly, take your mini crescent wrench and you'll just want to tighten just enough until you can feel a lot of pressure on the back, but not too tight or else you'll snap your nylon toilet bolts. All right. That should be about it. After we've got our bolts snug down, we want to take our hacks off and cut the bolts off nice and flush. After that, take our cap, snap it down, and that's how you mount your toilet. Lastly, turn on the water to the toilet. Don't forget your toilet seat. And if anybody's had any troubles and doesn't want to tackle this themselves, call a professional plumber. My recommendation, urban piping. But hey, that's just me.